Thank you, Governor. Um, I wanted to um, share some of the activities that um, my office was, had been able to take part, especially uh, last week where we ce were uh, celebrating and thanking um, our veterans for the work that they have done to keep our country safe and they continue um, to do by um, working locally to support our community. Um, I was fortunate to participate in Portsmouth um, this last week um, on a ceremony that was honoring Rose Clancy, who was the first uh, woman um, from Rhode Island to um, join World War I. And that was an opportunity for us to thank um, and highlight uh, her memory and her contribution. And also, um, I'm always um, grateful when I have an opportunity to celebrate another female that was uh, breaking glass ceiling. Um, early on when it was, wasn't even think of. Um, we have been also getting some phone calls from community members um, after the announcement of the vaccination uh, for five, and, um, five to 11 years old. We had been uh, had a work um, getting some phone calls from community members, especially after the participation in the Spanish um, conversation with Dr. Martin. Um, giving information to the community um, via Facebook Live with the Department of Health about what are the um, what the community can do and answering some questions that parents had in regards to the uh, vaccine for for the uh, five to eleven. It was a very informative um, session that we had, and we continued to get some phone calls. And we continue to assist the um, the public. We have a very uh, moving story of a grandmother who's in monocompromise. And she was trying, and as soon as the news came out that uh, their grandchild um, could get the vaccine, and she was trying to get through and reach out to our office for assistance. And it was very satisfying to know that we were able to assist them in getting the vaccine um, it's scheduled for them. And they were very happy to, for that. Um, there are um, other things that I wanted to um, share with you, and I want to thank um, also all of those Rhode Islanders that answered the call and provided um, items to send to our troops. I want to say that in, in the work that, that we did, the Operation Holiday Cheers, um, together with the Blue Star Month, uh, Blue Star Moms, we sent over um, 100 care packages to the um, in, all of those service members uh, from Rhode Island that are, um, ser uh, that are serving our nation and making sure that we continue to live in a free nation. Thank you to all of you that came by and donated items and participated. Uh, we actually got such a beautiful um, letter from one of the families because their uh, relative got uh, one of those care package and they sent us a beautiful letter thanking Rhode Island for remembering them. So I want to thank each of one of you that participated and make that possible. Um, I wanted to uh, also mention last time, uh, the last press conference, we shared some information about resources available for those of you that would like to get ready. Uh, make sure that your properties are ready in case of, uh, of any um, uh, weather-related catastrophe. In, I was able also to participate um, in Barrington, in the Operation Recovery uh, Barrington. And this is a good example that I hope of other communities will um, would, uh, copy in, in what Barrington did. They're getting ready and making sure that they know what are the steps that they need to take in case of an emergency. So I really hope to um, hear all the communities that are doing the same thing. And remember, we have $26 million available and we don't want to send it back, right? <laughs> no, we no. don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, so yesterday, um, we participated in welcoming two new companies to um, uh, Quonset. I was able to go to Quonset also last week and have a tour of the facility, and it's impressive everything that is happening there. We welcomed two new companies um, to Rhode Island. Uh, the governor wanted to be there, but then he got a phone call from uh, the president, and that takes priority, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I was, uh, my office was glad to take part of, of welcoming two new companies to Rhode Island. Um, 
finally, I just want to remind um, all of you out there um, in this time um, of Thanksgiving to make sure that you give thanks for the things that you have right now. We take it for granted the things that we have and the family and friends that we have around us. And um, this week, I have been able to witness uh, very up close with some of my constituents uh, how life can change in one moment. So take this moment, take this time of season of Thanksgiving and be grateful for the things that you have and the people that you have in your life. With that, I want to show my gratitude to Governor McKee and the Director of the Department of Health, Nicole Alexander-Scott. Thank you so much for everything that you both have been doing to keep Rhode Islanders safe.